I know breastfeeding who are an issue to many moms out there, especially kama hujui the best way to do it. Najule tumenda mbali, let me just start with myself. Sikuwa najua how to breastfeed a baby vizuri na nika end up kuwa na cracked nipples which was so painful and yes, singe taka mtu mgini apitie uko nyumbani. And today on set, we are joined by a nutritionist ambaye atatufundisha jinsi ya kubreastfeed. But before that, tusikie Juliet ali meet na wamama uko nje na waka share experiences zao about breastfeeding. Let's get to see waliko anasema nini. I am your host, Juliet Moremi. I am Chep Chumba Cherus, ukipenda Chep. And karibuni kwenye malezi bora. Hi, my name is Chep Kemekili. Uh, after I have two kids. My name is Grace. I'm a, I'm a mother of three. Yeah, and my last born is six months now. Uh, hi, my name is Hilda Karani. I have two kids, an eight-year-old and a four-year-old. Hi, my name is Esther Karyuki. Have one baby boy. Uh, it's my first born. I had a good time breastfeeding. Despite that I'm a nurse, I thought that breastfeeding would come so easy. But um, I think it, uh, I learned from my own experience. For the first kid it was, oh wow, it was bad, horrible. I had wound in my breast because I didn't know how to make him latch properly. But for the second baby I was a genius. He was able to latch properly and uh, I was, I knew what to do. Okay, at first getting the milk was a bit uh, hard but with time it got easier for me because it was painful at some point but I got pointers here and there from other mothers and now my mom so I think with time it, it flowed well. Being a first, first time mom there's a lot of expectation from will I have enough milk, will I have enough supply to feed my baby. First of all my baby wasn't very big at birth. I did exclusive breastfeeding, that's for six months exclusively and I can say so the benefits because uh, at least by six months my baby had gained weight, it was, it was a healthy baby. With my second baby um, I had a problem with the latching, the baby had a problem with the latching. Of course I thought because my first born latched well, my second born would be the same. I had a little problem but um, with time she was able to latch well. I wish I had more like experience on how to put the baby. I should have bought the thing to carry the baby up instead of uh, just letting him latch anyhow. The bonding with the mom and the child, I would recommend for someone who is able to breastfeed do it until six months. There's the benefit, the nutrition benefit from the mother to the child, the bonding that comes with it when the baby is staring at you. It feels really good. How ni baadhi ya mums tuliongea nao? For now, it's over to you, Chef, for the panel discussion. Karibuni kwa nyama lezi bora. I'm your host, Chef. And today, to talk about unajifunza breastfeeding. How to breastfeed a baby properly and what to do to make sure the baby and a latch vizuri. Karibuni. Thank you so much, Chef. I know many moms pale nyumbani had to do the best way to do breastfeeding. Na leo kwa set, tukona Karen here, a nutritionist here at Get Roots Hospital. Thank you so much for joining us. And also we are joined by Nora. She's a mom. She's going to share with us her experience in breastfeeding. Atatwambia uh, what alipitia ndio tuweze ku educate other moms out there. Ndio sisi wote tuweze ku learn at the end of the day. So karibuni sana. So to start us off uh, Karen unaweza tuelezea <laughs> breastfeeding ni nini na I know tunajua lakini tunajua, just yeah. to, to start us off. So tutasema breastfeeding is kupatia mtoto human milk. Yeah, so however way the baby gets the milk as long as it's human milk then we count it as breastfeeding. So either the baby can suckle direct from the mother or the milk can be expressed and fed to the uh, baby when the mother is not there. It is still uh, defined as breastfeeding. Okay, wow, thank you so much. Nora, share with us uh, how your journey in motherhood has been and what what the cha the challenge that we experience time you have to breastfeed. Okay, I'm a mother of two. Okay. 
Uh, both babies have had an issue. The first baby I developed mastitis, the second baby the same thing. Eh? Um, I tried breastfeeding the baby, but the nipples were not, they were not okay. So I didn't have enough milk. I tried to drink a lot of things like eating jaye, uh, drinking hoji, hot things, but still I didn't have enough milk. Okay. Yes. For it was babies? for both babies. Okay. Yes. And when you say the nipples were not okay, ilikuwa ni kidonda, ama ni uli develop pain, ama cracked nipples? No, it was like something like ice inside. It was okay. very, very painful. So I used to massage. The first time I was admitted to hospital, they used to inject me painkillers, okay. and then I massage with warm water in the towel uh, to make sure, because the doctor insisted that the milk has to flow outside. Okay. Yes. And so I, I'm not sure if that's what made me to not have enough milk. Okay. Yes, at the end of the day, because after that I didn't have enough milk, so I had to introduce the baby to to none. Formula. For, to formula. Okay. Yes. What were you feeling? Will you go feel like it was very, very painful. It's it's like painful. how did it start? Then it can develop. How did you seek medical attention? Uh -huh. You know, you just feel fever. You want to breastfeed the baby, mm -hmm. but the baby is just crying. When you try to press, nothing is coming out, okay. but still you can see the breasts they are enlarging. Okay. So when you touch it, something which is difficult, uh, something painful, okay. something hard. Okay. Yes. And I also it. remember, with, uh, with, I think with my first baby, nearly experienced such. Sijua manivila ni mara ya kwanza, wea bae unapata breast moja, there is pain. Lakini hii nyingine iko tu sawa. So and you know ila tu kwa sababu hii ni ndio iko na uchungu hautaki ku breastfeed mtoto iwe ina ina uchungu. Unataka uende kwa the the one that you feel it's more comfortable breastfeeding. So una, 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 you, you find that the pain is more of huwezi jua like si kujua ama ni mtoto halati vizuri ama ni mtoto I didn't get it. So maybe Karen unaweza to explain ya how is that so sometimes when you start off uh, breastfeeding, you might get what you call a, a, a blocked duct. So it, it stops the milk from flowing well, and if the milk doesn't flow, that's why you end up with uh, seemingly a large uh, or engorged breasts which are full of milk, but ukijaribu ku breastfeed, the milk doesn't flow out, and sasa it can develop into an infection, what she says is mastitis. So she may probably not had an issue with production but there was a blockage in the flow of the milk and she ended up not being uh, successful with the, with the breastfeeding yeah what causes that blockage so I, you cannot say what caused it. It, it it just happens oh, it, it just happens that as the milk flows maybe there is a what would you say maybe in a solid kidogo alafu in a block E, maziwa ikitengenezo inatoka alafu inakuwa ni kama tuseme nini maybe cream ama nini something solid and then it blocks the ducts are pipes that release the milk so if if something solid comes there alafu ina, ina uh, stop the milk from flowing then we show eh, the milk in a backup in a backup in a backup and you end up with with swollen breasts okay. yes um, let me ask kuna time before you deliver when you go to hospital una mbira when you almost Mm -hmm. giving to some massage. Massage. does that help anyway no that one sometimes is uh, recommended for women who have flat nipples okay. yeah so you have those conditions where some mothers have a flat nipple which gives challenges for baby to latch on but doing that before you deliver the baby has been shown not to be very uh, uh, beneficial okay. What you do is once the baby has arrived is when you stimulate the nipple just before the, the breastfeed. So Unachaza Chaza Naya said that it protrudes out and then it helps the baby to latch on. But doing it during pregnancy, I know idea, but it's specific for what when you work on a heel, nini, a, a flat, flat nipple, oh, flat. Oh. inverted. Okay. Yes. And Nora, uh, when you li, uli kundua ukona shida, like there is that pain, uli mm -hmm. I, yeah. I believe so. So yeah, what, yeah, what did the doctors say? Aman, ili fika wapi ndio ika, ika semekana ukona mastitis? Nile in the hospital, then the doctor said I have to be admitted. Okay. Yeah, so, so that they helped me 
kukamua hiyo maziwa and then because it was very painful i also the hand to they had to inject me ndio okay. at least wa hizo zitwa nini hizo painkillers painkillers yes so wakaniambia have to be on painkillers and then to be in the hospital ndio wanisaidie kutoa hiyo maziwa because that's the only way they told me maziwa lazima itoke mm. yes. na hiyo mtu wako alikuwa how old alikuwa like to one week one week old oh. yes so ilibidi umeenda na yeye hospitali ama ya yeah, ilibidi nikakuwa admitted na yeye so by then wakaanza ku introduce nao kwa nini kwa formula mm. yes. na umesema it's both ni watu wote wawili wote wawili the first baby I was admitted but the second one I was not admitted I just managed it at home because mm-hmm. I had experience from the first baby okay so I had not to use warm water mm-hmm. pamoja na towels you just press ndio inatoka okay. yes na and then happen- taking oh. taking painkillers okay. at home na yes ili happen at what age between what age in Akwanga hivyo the first week the first week. yes so, yes after birth uh, Karen is there a age whereby tunaweza sema you are most exposed to kupata kupatana na hiyo shida ya mastitis Uh, it's been maybe kuna specific age but usually it would happen in the first month wakati bado mama anajaribu ku, ku establish a uh, breastfeeding and especially for a first time mother who might not be able to know what to expect as far as hiyo ku breastfeed ina inaendanga so anaweza kuwa ajui ati ame ame block ama anajui that mtoto is not emptying the breast vizuri because usually those problems start when you are producing milk but it's not coming out of the breast as is as it should so kama mtu has not been educated well it usually happens mostly in the first a, a month or after delivery okay. yeah. and so dr karen now that you have what did you call this baby this baby baby ann baby ann yes. <laughs> now that you got a baby mm-hmm. ann mm-hmm. you can show us mm-hmm. how to how to breastfeed a baby correctly like how to make sure the baby latches well and how you should hold the baby just everything pertaining breastfeeding with baby ann okay so when you want to breastfeed mtoto cha kwanza cha kwanza is what we call positioning So positioning includes vile mama ataketi na vile ata, atawekelea mtoto. So step number one is mother must be comfortable. So ukiketi you have to have a good back support so that your back is upright. Remember after delivery you are still uh, you are still vulnerable mgongo bado is a bit sore so you have to support it. Well, if you don't you end up with a lot of back uh, problems in the in the future. So after you are seated comfortably, sometimes if you had an operation you might require a pillow to help you raise the, the baby. But if you don't then you place the baby on your laps and you turn the baby such that the baby's tummy faces your tummy and then you use your hand to support the whole length of the baby's body up to the to the bum and then your the head of the baby rests on your elbow now once the baby is uh, comfortable like that then now we come to issues of attachment so now that is positioning and there are very many uh, positions that you can use depending on what makes you comfortable so you tunaita cradle ndio watu wengi tumia and then sometimes kuna cresket uh, cross cradle where now you you hold the baby on in this position sometimes you might hold the baby football what we call football where you hold the baby especially when you have a tiny baby ule primi eh, mwenye you cannot support very well here you can use this position where now your body supports up to the head and the baby is able to breastfeed very comfortably this way so even when you're lying down there are positions that you can hold the baby while you're breastfeeding so anyway so that is positioning so once the position is comfortable then comes a uh, attachment so for attachment number one is you don't uh, squeeze the breast into the baby's mouth because his mouth has to remain open and the lips facing outwards so that you get your air locked so that there is suction so that the milk flows out from the breast so you put the you touch the nipple to the baby's mouth and wait for the baby to open his mouth once the mouth is open is when now you you put the nipple inside and then you observe as the baby suckles 
So wakati ananyonya unatakiwa kuwa na the cheeks ziki blow out. So unajua ana suck vizuri. Alafu ana pose. So he sucks a few times and poses. The posing is for swallowing. So if the baby doesn't pause then you know they are just suckling na kuna kitu ina inaingia. So you also listen for noises. So if there are loud noises like then you know that the baby is sucking in a lot of air and the position is not right. If you feel pain on the nipple when you are breastfeeding then you know the position is not right because the baby the friction inakuwa imekuwa too much e ukiisi uchungu unajua position sio right because now it means probably the baby is suckling only on the on the nipple na anafanya a lot of friction dio maziwa itoke kwa hivyo ndio inakuletea uchungu na maziwa haitoki so the mouth is supposed to go all the way up to the dark area to the end of the dark area which we call the areola and that way you know now mtoto ame position vizuri and is not painful at the beginning of breastfeeding in the first one or two weeks you always get contractions in the in the in the stomach once you start a breastfeed you feel a bit of a uh, contractions but those are normal because the same hormone that releases milk is the one that causes contractions and it's good for you because it's helping the uterus to go back to to normal size okay yes. niulize mm. hiyo ndio yes. ufanya mm. unapata sijui mama anaumwa na tumbo mtoto haumwi ama cause yeah, I, yeah. i hear some moms say at after their first first few weeks mm-hmm. after kudeliver mm-hmm. aliumwa na tumbo mm-hmm. lakini inakuwa mtoto akiumwa mm-hmm. mama haumwi mm-hmm. well, that one is interesting but najua hizo contractions who are ziko in the first few weeks okay. yeah, and then they they fed away and you only feel it for one or two minutes after you start breastfeeding alafu na alafu inaisha yes So let me just ask doc just to wrap up this conversation. Eh mm-hmm. uh, kuna kuna what is it called? Kuna wale watu wako na milk production yao iko very high mm-hmm. and they tell, like if you don't like for example personally me I still have a lot of milk and my baby is almost one and if I ikifika kitu 6 hapo unaona notice boob imekuwa kubwa imefura kabisa and it feels like hard. yes it's mm-hmm. very hard. So what what do you recommend for such people? So if you are within reach of your baby is you breastfeed mm-hmm. but if you are not then it's better for you to express the milk if you can get a hygienic place you mm-hmm. express the milk and keep it for later use uh, by the baby okay. because if you keep milk for too long yeah. either you end up with the problems that she had okay. or your brain starts to interpret that the milk is no longer needed and therefore your production starts to to, to slow down yeah. and just a simple what what do you recommend for Yo please here yeah, what is it called yo time you na breastfeed then the nipples become so painful that mm-hmm. kunyonyesha ni uchungu mm-hmm. what do you recommend to, to apply hapo hivyo kwa nipple no what tuna you just use your breast milk breast milk eh yeah, una squeeze kidogo unapaka hapo after the feed huwa inasaidia with healing ah, okay. yeah. so we don't sometimes there are some medications that you use but you know with medication you will have to wash ndio mtoto anyonye the and then you create more friction mm-hmm. inaweza kuwa more even more so so yeah. it's better just to use the breast milk But usually the, the the trick is get the milk mm. out out yes ah good mm. so just to mom nora i can just pass the mic to her nora just to wrap up this conversation what did you learn from experience yako sasa with breastfeeding and what you can share with the mom out there just to wrap up this conversation okay breastfeeding if you can breastfeed it's good okay. for six months uh-huh. eh? Because even immunity ya mtoto huwa ina improve hey. so mtoto atakuwa naoma atakuwa hey. na nini mm-hmm. so if you have enough milk okay. it's good to breastfeed mm-hmm. and if you can store kuna venye wanasemanga you can store in, fe- in mm-hmm. freezer mm-hmm. yes for several months yes. breastfeeding it's good and it really helps the immunity of the baby of the baby okay. yes yes and with the second baby was it the same case or it was a different story it was the same case mm-hmm. but that one i managed at home mm-hmm. so later kanza kunyonya mm-hmm. so now we are good to go ah nice and how old are the babies now nine months the other one five years ah, nice. yes cool. thank you continue thank you. being a good mom and okay. mom to those and to more to come thank you, thank you. <laughs> and maybe before we wrap up uh, karen you can tell us uh, chef has talked of moms uh, with a uh, lot of milk production mm-hmm. uh, what about the moms with low milk production so maybe some foods that they can eat to boost the milk production for the baby Oh yeah by the way kuna hiyo now boosting milk production using food is a tricky question because 
the, the, the science of how milk is produced doesn't include special uh, types of, of food as such. The most important thing usually is you stimulate production by making sure you are within reach of your baby as much as you can so that anyonye mara nyingi. So the action of suckling uwaina stimulate uh, production. Then kuna hiyo action ya kurelease maziwa. Now that one goes to issues of support. So the mother must feel comfortable, she must feel happy with her baby, she must have a good support system, Dio, her mind is where at ease and relaxed, and that way milk flows. So when it comes to diet, you need a balanced diet, you need to eat regularly, but what you need to take more of is, is fluids. Okay. Up to three liters of fluids in a day. Every time you breastfeed, Unakunywa, like half a liter, and that should help. If there are cultural issues, eh, cultural things that encourage you to eat one food or another, there is no problem. Oh. But still, as much you are drinking chocolates, drink no, no, for, for beverages, for beverages you avoid stimulants. Okay. Eh, because stimulants tend tend to dry your your, your body out. Okay. Na, na, as a pass into the milk and go into the baby. So we, we usually don't take beverages that are stimulants. But we took a here, Nini is okay. Yeah, again, there are issues come on total and a corner. And again, relax, 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 relax. Good support system, drink. Yeah, Actually, yeah. Doc, to Malize to conversation, we three things Mama for home and I need to do when you breastfeed. Uh, like I said, you need to take plenty of fluids, uh -huh. up to three liters or more in a day. You need to room in with your baby, uh -huh. which means spend as much time with your baby as much as possible uh -huh. and put them on the breast as many times as they want, which we call breastfeeding on, on demand, and then have a good support uh, system around you, whether at the workplace or at home. It's very important for successful uh, breastfeeding. Yes. Yeah. Sawa, so, so, thank you so much. Nutritionist Karen and Mam Nora. Juliet, thank you too. Guys, Asante Nisana, conversation to Tendelia Pali Facebook. Breastfeeding is such a whole story. Na joku na zigina hata tujoliza, hatujoangelea, but just up on Facebook, Twitter, throw in whatever you, kenyo unafikiria, kenyo unataka kuchibiwa, we'll definitely answer you. And thank you so much. This has been Malezi Bora and tumekua tukengelea breastfeeding. Conversation ni Tendelia Pali Facebook. And coming up next is Mom's Story of the Day. You don't want to miss this out. Thank you.